On June 25, 2020, in Roswell, New Mexico, New Mexico State Police investigated and interviewed Corey King, the former journalist who was accused of being a police officer. The warrant included electronic devices of audiovisual recordings of incidents from him impersonating a police officer and his 2014 Ford Explorer outfitted with lights, sirens, and horns imitating a police unit. King was cooperative with state police who conducted the search warrant. He answered questions about the initial investigation during the search warrant. The upcoming videos are from lapel footage we obtained from Chavez County of an alleged DWI incident where King pulled over a car on April 11, 2020 and the search warrant case we recently released. Also with me following these pursuits, I have to look out for them as well. I'm not trying to rush in certain places. Even if I have an open, it speed limit's 50 and I'm doing 50, I still don't want to blatantly rush in there. There's other officers coming in, there's other things going on. And I know these type of things, so I don't just rush in there, or even if you're on scene, I, don't, I try to distance myself so that you don't feel fearful or that's part of the reason that I have the lights on my vehicle. If I pull up on a scene, let's say you guys have a scene right here at, at night and I pull up, a vehicle pulls up on you all ominously and stops and somebody gets out, you don't know who it is. But if I turn them yellow lights on and you've come in contact with me one time in the prior, good contact or bad, you know that that vehicle now belongs to somebody that's not gonna at least harm you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe could, but that's, that's literally the reason that I have those and why they're used on scene is because I don't want in any sort of way to have bad contacts with you guys or you guys have bad contacts with me. When I first started this type of stuff, uh, I used to get tried to run off of scenes and I, I never impeded a scene. I never crossed. If you guys park seven cop cars here, well, in my mentality, the last cop cars, the beginning of your crime scene. So I won't pass that last cop car. So I've had, I used to have a lot of like beefing with RPD and stuff that just, they didn't know what I was doing or they thought I was doing bad or I'm filming the victims. Like there's certain ways I do my stories. I can completely, I have all right to film whatever I want, but mm -hmm. if there's an injured person over there, I'm not filming them. That's, that's just me as a, as a human being. Same with you guys. I don't try to film your face. I don't try to do none of that. Now I have the right to, but at the same time, you guys don't need that extra stuff on top of your job. So that's just how I do what I do. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I tiptoe in this as lightly as I can. I try to, get these relationships with you guys. That's why I try to do this documentary with the sheriffs. I've been trying to do it with, with you guys, but it's really difficult with the insurance and stuff. And I've been dealing with Captain Lance Bateman. We've been trying to do it for years. Same with RPD. And the reason I want to do it is not just let the community get to know you guys, but I want you guys to know me that in any sort of the sense, I'm not trying to do what you guys are investigating me for, period. Uh, uh, by me being, just, just first off, by me being on the phone with Deputy Padilla, calling a DWI driver, never leaving the scene and staying there in the uniform, I did not expect that that was going to go that way because I didn't expect or, or I didn't have in my own mind the mentality that I was impersonating an officer. You, you, you feel me? Yeah. Like that's, that so was what, my... What were you wearing on the day of the pursuit? This? Oh, okay. So it was the, the day of the DWI, you were wearing the security uniform? Yeah, and the only reason that I was in that specific uniform is because about an, at the most an hour before that, I responded to a stabbing. So I called her, I didn't initiate, I didn't talk to him, I didn't go up and say I'm an officer, ask your ID, he smoked, he let the kid, I, you know, I didn't tell him, I never fuck stay in the car, nothing. Because I'm not nothing. All I did was let him know that I'm not here to fucking shoot him, follow him, nothing like that. That's the whole reason that I put the lights on. That was it. I didn't approach him and say that I'm an officer, I'm here to follow you, anything like that. Okay. Yeah, our, our, honestly, our DD actually left early, or else she would have been the one to drive us home. Yeah, yeah. there's always cats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she actually was There's supposed to be the one to drive us home, and she left early. So, no. if she's your only ride, then you should probably leave early too. If you're yeah. gonna stay and drink anyway. She yeah. she left about I mean, thirty minutes had, before us. You had this much to drink? It's her thirtieth birthday. Yeah. She's had yeah. more than I have. Okay, well, happy birthday. Thank you. you guys, <laughs> That's you kind of an awkward birthday this. now, but yeah. Well, yeah, it'll be important. Yeah. yeah. yeah we My won't mom do it works again. for the DA's office, so. It won't, it won't happen again, that's for sure. Let me ask you a question. Um, how did he identify himself? Who? Uh, I don't know, how did he... He didn't identify himself at all, like I said. I, we, we, she wanted some burritos, we stopped and got her a couple of burritos. 
We pulled up to the house and this keep, car. Keep it, keep it down. Keep it down. The, the, this car stopped no, right here. Keep it down. Keep your keep voice, voice down. down. Yeah, this vehicle. This vehicle stopped right here and like, um, I'm not dealing with anything like that right now. So I stepped out of the vehicle and I was like, "Can I help you?" And that's when I saw the light. He turned the lights on and everything else, and that's when all this occurred. And I was like, "Yeah, nothing." Nothing yeah, whatsoever. Say, when we both got out of the truck, he didn't say anything. Did Nothing he, whatsoever. Did he approach you? No, sir. No. And we normally don't, in all honesty, we normally don't put up with stuff like that. We kind of get confrontational, but because he started, as soon as he asked, can I help you, then he hung up his life. Yeah. And he waited until he asked, can I help you twice, until he turned on his light. So did he stay in the car, or did he get out? He oh, got yeah. out. No, he, he got out of the car. After he asked the second time, can I help you, then he got out of the car. And did he say anything? No, nope. not a word whatsoever. <laughs> he, he, he had, uh, well, he identified himself as a sheriff's officer, and that's when he asked for my... He, he did? Uh, eventually, not, not right away. He did not identify himself right away. Well, but, they asked for your ID. That was me that asked for your ID. Yeah, you came up and asked for my ID. Yeah, but that, other than that, like I said, I just saw the lights and stuff, and he literally waited until we both walked out of the truck. We both got out of the truck, and he asked him twice, "Can I help you?" Until he got out of the car, and then he didn't even ask him. Anything. I saw the vest and the pants. I'm not gonna lie, and then I. You, you put two and two together. It's, mm -hmm. it's a police officer. My mom and dad. But but did yeah. he did he tell you he was no, a sir. deputy with the sheriff's office? No sir. He didn't say anything. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Do you want to press charges? Sure. Impersonating a peace officer. No. Is he a police did you, officer? Did you yeah. feel threatened? I'm at my house, you know. No, I mean, if you, I'm not gonna lie. If, if he gonna step up, I mean, we gonna step up. But I mean, he didn't step up or anything. So I mean, I, I, I didn't feel threatened at all. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Not I didn't feel threatened. You guys are doing your job, and I, I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate it. I'm. Probably should have stayed at my brother-in-law's and my sister-in-law's tonight. Keep your, keep your voice down just yeah. a little bit. I probably should have stayed out there tonight, but I didn't. Me and my wife and my kids wanted to come home. Like I said, it's her 30th birthday. Yep. We barbecued today, but because we're in town, nobody wanted to come to the house because of the... Yeah, the, the, it's understandable. The six feet order, so yeah. I mean, we, we went out to the county. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. <laughs> Rebel essential. Oh. Yeah, Ooh, I'm an essential employee too. I work in the oil and gas industry. I'm on call seven days a week. So hopefully I mean, not. Hopefully, hopefully not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> oh no 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 no! They didn't call me before four o'clock, so I ain't oh, okay. answering the phone after four. Okay, well, I'm gonna go talk to this deputy. Appreciate your. So, I mean... Recording. Not good, Corey. You can't be doing this, man. You can't pull people over. I literally, I, I, I promise you, I'm not even, I don't give a fuck what this guy said. I didn't pull nobody over. I didn't initiate lights. I stopped here on the phone with her. He got out the truck, jumped out all fast. I was just trying to give her the plate. He jumped out, he dropped his keys. He said, what are you doing? Why are you, like, why are you behind me? That's when I put the lights on. So he doesn't fucking come near my car. Well, why would he, why would you put those lights on? What do you mean? Why would you There's, put those lights on? They're on the side. He, Cause look, he's. Yeah, I know. So, okay. I was at the office uploading the Code 5 story. Okay. So I'm dressed the way I am. Returning home. Mm -hmm. Reddit. Ballard and Grant. Yeah, I know where you me, live. Whatever. He flies past me. All I did was follow him. I was on the phone with her the entire time. We can't even pull the fucking... Like, I didn't initiate my, my fucking camera. Wait. I promise you, I'm not going to lie, I'm not doing nothing, I'm not personally no fucking officer, I'm not doing nothing like that. All I did was see him serving, seeing there was a kid, that kid. So I called her, I didn't initiate, I didn't talk to him, I, I didn't go up and say I'm an officer, I, your ID, he smoked, he was a kid, I, you know, I didn't tell him, 
whatever the fuck stay in the car, nothing. Because mm -hmm. I'm not nothing. All I did was let him know that I'm not here to fucking shoot him, follow him, anything like that. That's the whole reason that I put the license on. That was it. I didn't approach him and say that I'm an officer, I'm here to follow you, anything like that. Did you get out of the car? Yes, sir. Why? How am I supposed to let him know what I'm doing? Like, all I did was step right here outside of my vehicle, the door was open. Right after that, I'm still on the phone with her the entire time. Right after that's when he passes and look at you. I no, I, I you're, understand. You're all I, like you're fully, all like you're all attacked out. I fully you understand. You got a gun? Sir. I understand. I you got a it's security. You got a badge? I just I just noticed that a minute ago. So look, this I roll these down like fireman status. They sit in my room, they lay there. Anytime there's a code four, code five, I, I respond like this. I get it, it. But I, I really I I'm I'm not even I'll shut the fuck up, but I promise you, I understand what I look like. I really do. This is not what I'm trying to do, and I promise you, I apologize. Like, I'm not pulling nobody over. I'm not doing nothing like this, period. It's not what I'm here to do, period. All right. Well, you're being advised. We're going to write this up, okay? Fuck. Yeah, I understand. Um, and then we're going to present it to our admin and let them deal with it, okay? okay? Yes, sir. If we have to go further, then we'll go further. No, no, okay? no, no. Yes, sir. I understand. But oh, no, no, no. you Please. have to understand yes, sir, the gravity. When I got here, he said that undercover. Yeah. yeah, he thought you were undercover. I, I understand. I really do. And that, that's what I heard him say when he got out. I never identified myself, period. I understand my vehicle looks like it, and I turn the lights on. And I, I'm dressed the way I am. I really do. I, I And I, I understand that all you can hear, I saw you guys sitting over there talking, and I seen you looking at me, and that's when I look down. This is my security badge. I own a security company. I, this is what the gear is for, but I know it's fucking everything on top of each, each other looks bad. Like, mm -hmm. it really does. I talked to the sheriff the other day. I was doing a story in regards to somebody's apparently pulling people over. Um, SO, or state police doing a story in regards yeah. to somebody going to Albertson in a white. I promise you, that's not what the fuck I'm doing. It's not what I'm here to do. It's not what I plan to do tonight. Nothing like this. I just seen him swerve with kids in the vehicle, and I was like, yeah. I'm going to at least call it in. I called her. I texted her first. Yeah. Then I, uh, he, that's when... He went to go all crazy right here at Main Street. I called her because they're texting some bullshit. So I why, why wouldn't you just call 911? It's not an emergency. Well, I well, mean, it kind of is. Well, I, I don't know. Like, it was I, just. I, if it wasn't an emergency, you wouldn't have stopped. I understand that. Yes, sir. I have no excuses. Hey, Corey, so. we receive tips all the time. You know that I receive tips. But it's one thing to receive a tip and somebody be a witness. And then you you get out and make contact like this. Yes, I. I mean, you 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 totally look like I'm not gonna say an arc, but I, it doesn't look good. I mean, straight up, it doesn't look good. Uh, literally, when you guys were coming to me right now, I thought you were about to wrestle. Like I'm seriously still like. Huh? You gotta think about these. You gotta, you gotta think about your your actions. I mean, you could have just rolled by and got the got the twenty eight and the, well, the description of the person. You didn't have to stop. That's why I stopped to get the plate. I couldn't get this plate. I stopped. That's when he jumped out. He dropped his keys. Said, "What mm -hmm. are you doing?" I'm on the phone with her. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to let him know all I did. But was you didn't have to get out. I, yes, sir. You did yes, not sir. have to get out. But that's a that's a choice you made. So. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll, we'll do up the report. Yeah. As of right now, the guy doesn't want to. Yeah, he's waving you guys out. I understand. I... Fuck, man. Like you guys, I. Now, question. Yeah. Did I fuck up a potential arrest because the way I. Conducted myself here. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes, because absolutely. I'll tell you right now, Corey. If if you would have just drove by and told me the address, or vehicle description, or cross street, and just kept going, we would have went made contact, investigated it, and he would have admitted to what he already did. For you, it's, there's another thing, man. You gotta, you gotta do something. You gotta do something different. Like I, I don't know what our admins told you, but I, I usually have my press on here. Yeah. Stuff that's 
You gotta have something, you have something that identifies you, not as law enforcement, and that you look straight up. Like what, like what you're not. Yeah. Yeah, I can take it off right now. I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm not like taking it. In the future, it would have been better for you to have done that before you. Yeah. Oh uh, man, like when I left my I, office. Recording. Told me that I should press charges for impersonating an officer. Okay. Those people, you have to make that decision. What happens if I do make that decision? I will get, because of everything that's going on with the COVID right now and all of that, um, <clears throat> basically we'll just end up going to court with it. Okay. So. Maybe. Can we do that? You want to do that? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. We'll get it handled. Yes, sir. So, um, you got his phone number and everything? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes, sir. Okay. It's Officer Hendricks and De La Cruz? De La Cerda. De La Cerda? Yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll get it written up. and. Well, where do I go to pick up the police report? The Chavez County Sheriff's Office. The big old St. Mary, old St. Mary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, he changed his mind. He does want to press charge. Okay. All right, Corey. So here's the deal. Just because of everything that went down with the lights and then when you exited the vehicle you're wearing a badge of gun okay um i'm going to be citing you for impersonating a peace officer in violation of 30-27-2.1 um it's just going to be an arrest citation we're not taking you to jail over it um, you need to make a court appearance on or by next friday the 17th at noon okay this is also going to be going to our admin um, so I just need your signature there by signing you're not admitting guilt. All you're doing is promising to make the appearance. Um, you have any questions? Okay. No, it's not, it's not. People make mistakes. Yeah, but I also learned from yeah and that's that's the thing is that had had it been handled differently on your part we could have taken action so i hate these citations Me too. Okay. okay so there's your copy okay. You have anything else for him? Okay.